What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. In this episode we are continuing our Russia siege extravaganza by assaulting Yerevan in Armenia with these armies and they're actually not as good as I would like. However, we do have our 24 pound howitzers, which is what matters. Because we're against three sets of mortars and lots of frustrating reinforcements. Not a big deal, but frustrating reinforcements and a couple of decent guards units. Without further ado, let's crack on. This one I made is things like um, African native infantry and, and even though African guards, they're still not as good as um, guard infantry. So I might take a few more casualties, but that's why we have this second army in reserve. If things go horribly wrong, then they will help come in and secure the fort behind us. And we're fortunately we are also drawing in ooh, oh no it's a pitched battle oh i forgot i didn't i did not i, I remembered check last saying um i don't know if it has fortifications or not okay this is terrible ground Is too many, thankfully. This is with you, 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 you. Let's do this on one flank. to advance up into them because they have mortars. Just change my mind about my scouts and put them on the flank. Move my infantry up hard and fast. Horse unit, this cut this artillery unit. Another will go straight on. 
one of them will wheel around and hit through this gap and hit the this artillery unit. Don't worry about purple guns. So I'll probably lose a few against that cavalry spike, but. In which case, let's put my. Probably end up putting my howitzers up here. run you back and up and then right So I might have to run <clears throat> an infantry unit in. Yeah, those scouts are going to die. So that's why I need to run towards the infantry unit. Hopefully they will continue their march onto the square though. run into that Cossack unit to help to at least disrupt them, although I would like you to go into this regiment of horse. Just to at least disrupt them. Let's put you guys further down the road hill in this nice little kitchen here. So my, yeah, my dragoons are going down, but they've been surrounded by lots of heavy infantry, so they should be okay. Let's pull my dragoons back out. Defensive line. Kill their general. And then these guys get more set up for for my guys in the combat back. However many lips, however many survive.
have to be very careful on where my no, actually just keep them back for now. I'll probably deploy you here. Good, let's get back into the game we know and love. There we go, getting into kink there. End around. Trees. Not the trees, but this new position. This allows us to slowly advance. Keeping an eye on this edge of the map because I'm not sure who else, has to, who else gets to come in from here. Artillery to hit their artillery. One fire into this Cossack infantry. Quick climb shots, oh, they're going over this way. They're hitting the bottle guns. <laughs> yeah, no, let's change that. Let's also change you. Let's also change you to go after. Oh, actually, no, just out of range. Let's do round shot and pummel. General's body down. Well, my dragoons all watch because they're very, very naked. Okay, you hit gorillas, you hit you know, Cossack infantry that's coming right for us. Buckle guns have been abandoned. back because they're going to run slap bang into my spikes. I'm 
bit of damage here and there. Ah, the main battle lines have been met. for the unit of guerrilla mercenaries. I'm pretty sure I do have all these guys on fire at will. It looks like I do. Good. Tree, which is nice. I'll just go fire a regular shot after his 12 pounder heart. It's a full artillery unit. for you, and have you got off the Tsar guards? Which I bet they look brilliant. I'm do it this one. all my men reload. You can see they've worn out their lines, so I want them all to reload before the Cossacks get in range. Cossacks because the artillery's moved out of range. Moving over this firing position will be take guts. Let's move up. Let's get my artillery to start. I'm shotting the general. Good then, looks like it's going to be these chaps that form the uh, core of our six, core, of four, core of our response. So let's bring up my general as well. And my triple speed. Their general. Charge the artillery, let's halt fire of all of my own. Oh, I left. Oh, that's a reinforcement unit. Ah. Not needed in the end, I mean, you were secure. Or will be secured at least. Yes, sir. The artillery crewmen are valiantly trying to defend their guns. It's not going to work though. <laughs> Have I 
to pull them off the horse. Oh, it is, you know. Just one dead. Oh, yeah. oh, all of them. They're all fleeing the field. Oh, the general's come back. Good. My general's really good, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to lose him. Because <laughs> he's pretty handy. Excellent. Heroic victory and the securing of Atkri. So I'm going to check that that's everywhere that can be secured is secured. Okay, I can see what's going to happen here. So let's just preemptively move you over here because they're probably going to go for it. Which, if they do, I like my odds because I have to push back two, um, two infantry units with whatever garrison Azerbaijan has. But yes, Tbilisi is secured. And let's replenish you. You're good. You're good. Oh no, sorry, not Tbilisi. Armenia is secured. I thought the general was a bit different. Build some walls because why not? Let's knock down this and knock down this to see if see if I can actually do it. And now we've pushed up, I can fix this palatial estate. Cool, I think. Ah! Nope. They one last one. The assault skirts. on ah. Sophia. So let's assault it. Of the first wave, we have we. It remains to be what happens next because I've not moved in on Copenhagen yet. I've not been able to. But let's crack on. Okay, so my artillery is going to just going to stand back and. Ooh, maybe one's going to go over here. Maybe they both. Maybe these guys both build from here. Let's keep my oh yes, rifleman scouts. Let's have a good look at you. They look pretty good. Let's just take my rifleman scouts. Put them slightly up threat and downhill of my. A huge range. Same with my fusiliers, just keep some guys ready to defend. And then these guys are gonna move up and assault. You fire a quick line shot, general's gonna be moving up with the assault. into the town. These two move up into the town from the left. I'll watch my riflemen scouts get their opening volleys off. So it's like 285 men in that line. 263, so that's 22, 22 kills from 180 men. It's not that great. But they're already a massive route. Move out rifles.
Okay, my heart this is me to switch back to round shot because otherwise things are going to start getting out of range. the town hall, there's another town hall up here, which makes a lot more sense. Oh my god, don't stop, you cannot stop during the attack, guardsmen! into the garrison of each militia. You run over here, ready to fire onto this line of control that goes in. Scouts are tearing this militia unit apart. on this flank. Secure the town. Oh god, there's so many, such efficient kills from such a long distance. Join the combat. 188 guardsmen. So you've got a little salient in the centre. This may well turn the tide. So systematically destroying the town centre. Yes, the garrison guardsmen have turned it around. Oh, 
these poor souls of the 109th Regiment of Foot. I've built so many. Are they also firing into the town? We're bombarding the town, that's for sure. You all bombard the tuna of line infantry. Damn, these scouts are good. Accuracy 73. Range 170. They've not got a whole lot of ammo. Like I said, they're already running out, but. Damn, the effect they have when they have it. Fire. It's like a little trail of ants. But we have secured Bulgaria. That little is now secured. Excellent stuff. Good. Plenish. You're not happy. Let's go. If I get rid of your university, you'll love me. Let's upgrade some farms. Let's upgrade your infrastructure and spend money here that has never been spent here before. Actually, I might do this. Because you're a bit, Sir. yeah, you're a bit of a naff army. So you garrison them. Next turn, so that when the school is knocked down, they'll be a lot more amenable. Let's advance you up the road towards Moscow. Cool, so none of these guys are enraged here. Minsk. And I might just do that, just to drive them back. These chaps will do the same. Squash them like flies. Proud and victorious, sir. Oh well, I'm not actually in range to get back inside, but that's okay. They won't turn on me massively in one turn. Let's fix the place of state. Let's destroy the university. Good stuff. One navy. You're replenishing. Okay, so I think I might. Oh, yeah, none of these guys are in. Yes, sir. Are in range to hit uh, Russia or to hit their territory. Or even if they can, I don't know. See my now. Let's hit. So normally I cut these out, but I'm gonna. That kind of actually. Yeah, let's just want to resolve that. We are trying. So normally I push parts out, but I think a we've captured a whole bunch of their territory, so it should slow them down a bit. It should speed the them up a little bit. grow in strength over time. The more they're left unchecked, always act quickly in these instances. Otherwise, the uprising may capture a region. Oh Sir, my! Watch it won't. Your orders. Speak this gun to Eli Bell. Slaughter Engage Luke and Sim. Sim oh, it's not even a. Run, it's just a. Okay, so just to recap what happened at the end of the end turn phase. Uh, they moved up some forces to garrison Riga. Uh, obviously that rebellion happened. Um, they also moved up... Well, no, they haven't garrisoned Minsk any further. This um, One of these armies over here has come down to a raid here, so I'm just going to hit it with one of these stacks. Just to wipe them out. Waiting for yours. These guys are still replenishing. Um, this army moved down from um, Cherkask down towards the south. Probably to try threaten one of these areas. But I think we'll probably be reinforced by the time they Sir. get here. This army that I was concerned was going to go take um, Ardabo has actually moved back up to Tarki. So I might move these guys up here to head, head the Russians off. Awaiting further orders. And then one other thing that did, one frustrating thing that did happen is an army yes. sallied out from Estefan, which was very, very small, and I auto resolved it and lost about a thousand men. So that wasn't super fun. Ready for. Let's see, move on. Let's keep all these. Let's keep all these armies on the move towards Persia. You could do with. 
It's a little bit more interesting. Okay. Yeah, no, you don't need two of those. Oh, you do you need four. Cool. Then that army's a bit. That army's been rebuilt. Scoot these guys up. No, they get a large garrison, but I'm not going to move up because they've got. This, this army's been pretty badly mauled, so they're going to stay where they are. These guys are probably going to move up to try to take Arbol. Arbol. So, oh, okay, we, we do have our infantry being recruited. Maybe not enough, but I'll trade um, Ardabil for Esfahan, and then this army at Yerevan will move east and capture it. And these guys, when they're ready, will move up to secure Tarki. Church school, industry. And they're replenished. Good. So up here. At the ready. If I move my sloop here. Set sail! Jump to so. it and look lively! I cannot do that. I don't, know if they can, I don't know if they've been blocked by that priest. So in which case I need to find a rake. I'm normally absolutely tripping over loads of them at this point in the game. Okay, let's do lists, agents. Falmouth, you're, you're close. America, 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 America. Okay, so it's this guy in Falmouth. Oh, it's Falmouth in Maine. I thought it was Falmouth, UK. Yeah, I really cannot be bothered to start shipping over rakes from the New World. Sir. Declare war on the Pueblo Nation. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Forgot about that alliance. So I want to go up here. Replenish, do some nice upgrades. Uh, the infrastructure is good, and if I move my army out, they still like me. So these guys can sit here for a turn, replenish, and then move on to go hit Huron at the same time. Works on striking Georgia, but they're okay now. Oh, they've got the university, don't they? But they like me nonetheless. Workers on strike in Lithuania, but they like me now, especially when I've got the garrison back in. Works on strike in Poland. It's Kegel University I didn't check out. Sir. Let's move these guys up to go see Riga. Rats in a chain. And the workers riot in Sardinia. But they've broken up, broken some stuff, and now they seem okay. Okay, so what's the best thing to do with my Malta army? I think it's probably to send it. Oh, let's do lots of replenishment over here. I think it would probably be easiest if I send it to the America, not the Americas, the Indias. So let's take you. Yes, Captain. Ship's orders. Let's take you. Forward. Get embarked. Forward. Forward. So. Let's get you sail over to. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. I didn't know there was anyone in. Yeah. So you lay siege to them. Then use the cavalry to push them out. So, just a nice quick battle. Let's get my cuirassiers back. Get them in and disembark. And then this army of Tobin Davis, who's been here since the start, they will move down to Basra, where they will be carried through the channel, which might require a bit of a naval battle. So you're all in position, you're all in position. Everyone who is replenishing, who needs to replenish, is replenishing. You your humble servant. Make can go raid Tula Farmland. Yes. You're probably going to move up to, yeah, to your own mines. Ready. You're going to move over to the Set. east. Setting up camp. Good. Let's fix you. 
let's fix you. Good. And then you... Sir, your orders? Oh yes, you were going to go secure this Forward. ford. It's River Crossing. Your humble servant. Elec Fortescue. Sir. Oh yeah, let's pick Ready for Fortescue. Siege works. Siege mints with support. More orders. Good. I might end up just dropping. Well, which is if I drop one of my, if I drop one of my armies off, they might end up having to assault alone. Which I'm not sure I want to do that. Rebellion in Poland, yeah, but you've been, yes. they've been defeated. You could do with two units of artillery. At the ready. You're fine, you just need replenishment. So let's replenish and then move you up, say, towards there. Let's build another church school. Good. Ah, and you're on the move. It's pretty much on the move you over here. It'll take you ages to get over here, but then you can start to hit these rear areas. Cool. But looking at the timer, I think we've reached the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you hope you've enjoyed the part, and then we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Barbarossa. Right, guys. Thanks for watching.